Gina Michelotti and Clint Webb were specifically chosen to tie the knot for Married at First Sight season 16, but while other duos were clearly matched based on compatibility, Gina and Clint seemed to have been deliberately put together to induce drama. Gina and Clint were selected to participate in MAFS season 16 alongside four other Nashville-based couples, Kirsten Grimes and Shaquille Dillon, Jasmine Sekarist and Urs Williams, Nicole Lillingall, and Christopher Theog, and Dominique Claus and McKinley Gilbert. Like their co-stars, Gina and Clint have distinct personalities and clear ambitions but have yet to find the right partner to settle down with. Unfortunately, while the series is popular, married at first sight's Dr. Pepper Schwartz and Pastor Calvin Robertson, the experts, don't have the strongest track record. In fact, although Dr. Pepper has specifically arranged over 50 marriages since MAFS first premiered in 2014, only a handful remain as of February 2023. While there's no definitive proof that the couples on MAFS are set up with entertainment in mind over true love, displeasure with the experts in their process has been voiced for years, with the latest MAFS seasons being accused of behind-the-scenes manipulation. Although a few of the couples on MAFS season 16 could make it past decision day based on their respective weddings and honeymoons, it's become obvious that Gina and Clint weren't exactly matched just based on compatibility. While MAFS season 16 couple Nicole and Chris instantly connected despite their opposite personalities, it became apparent from the start that Gina and Clint share more differences than similarities. In fact, the only thing that Gina and Clint appear to have in common is that they reside in the same Nashville apartment building, which already cast suspicion on the MAFS producers, who obviously knew that beforehand. Clint is an adventurous and carefree individual who has a career but isn't exactly passionate about work as he is about the outdoors. On the other hand, Gina is a serial workaholic who owns her own salon in Nashville. Throughout the first part of their honeymoon, Gina made it clear that she and Clint were on two different wavelengths but did mention that Clint was fun to be around. Similar to Kirsten's displeasure with Shaquille's appearance, the biggest indicator that Gina and Clint were matched for maximum drama potential made itself clear during a tense conversation. After they enjoyed their day at a Jamaican waterfall, Gina told Clint that she didn't find redheads physically attractive and specifically asked the MAFS experts not to match her with one. This happened to Kirsten as well, who requested a partner who wasn't bald like Shaquille. Although she tried to soften the blow, Clint was clearly taken aback by Gina's declaration, especially since Gina said she thought Clint was cute on their wedding day. If the MAFS experts really cared about successful marriages, they would make an effort to match people with their preferences in mind. Clint was quickly compared to Mitch Silverstein from MAFS season 15 based on early comments he made about Gina's body, but based on Gina's abrupt admission, the initial preview of the relationship seemed to have been intentionally edited. It wouldn't be the first time the MAFS producers intentionally mislead audiences, but the decision to pair Gina and Clint has also never been so obvious. Gina and Clint's marriage could survive past decision day, but based on how their honeymoon is set to play out, it's doubtful.